Since 2018, there has been a debate in the United Kingdom about whether or not the law should be changed to make it easier for a transgender individual to change their legal sex from their birth sex, and about exceptional situations, such as women-only spaces and sports, in which the individual's birth sex should take priority over their gender identity, regardless of their legal sex. This debate inspired the foundation in 2019 of an organization, LGB Alliance, which rejects the political coalition of LGB and T and challenges some transgender demands on the basis that they conflict with the rights of lesbian and bisexual women or the rights of children who might grow up to be LGB adults. Now, that introduction was written by Dr. Robert Wintemere, and no, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that problem properly, and if I'm not, I do apologize. Uh, but that was done in preparation for a presentation to be given at McGill University uh, this past Tuesday, January 10th, 2023, uh, and it shouldn't have been a problem, except that it was. Uh, here, as you can see on the screen, is the announcement uh, that came from the McGill University website, uh, introducing and inviting people to uh, attend the seminar. Unfortunately, trans activists got in the way and completely blocked it. They shut the whole thing down. It never happened. Here's a few scenes uh, from that, and we'll show you exactly uh, what went on. So this should have been an important discussion on one group's rights versus another group's rights. And given the political climate in the country right now, that's an important discussion to be had. And it's not the first time that subject has been brought up. Maybe the subject material this time was a little bit different, uh, but it's definitely not the, the first time that this subject has come up. Uh, Dr. Wintemute did have some commentary to say about it, and we'll let you listen to this uh, right here. Women have human rights too, but most women are afraid to speak up because of the intimidation of the transgender rights movement. So I have to thank the, the protesters for giving me first-hand experience of that. Well, after seeing that, it would appear that uh, Dr. Wintemute uh, had a valid point uh, in his presentation. Uh, the intimidation uh, did not allow his presentation, his seminar, whatever you want to call it, to, to go forward. Uh, and the whole thing was quashed. Uh, this was not a seminar of uh, anti-trans rights or anything like that. It was a simple discussion of, are your demanded rights being used to trample or inadvertently even trampling on the rights of somebody else. Uh, in this case, the, it seems to be the perceived right of the trans movement to be part of the LGBTQ2 plus movement, whereas the LGB seems to be claiming the rights of not wanting them associated uh, with their movement. And it's a conflict of rights. But that discussion never happened. Uh, it won't happen so long as people like uh, Celeste Tryanon, uh, a human rights activist, or a trans rights activist, sorry, trans rights activist, and I'm going to take a stab in the dark and, and say that Celeste Tryanon is likely not her real name. Uh, but let's take a look and see what Celeste had to say about the whole thing. Uh, hang on to your seats, because you're going to need something to hold on to for this. Please, be sitting down. McGill's community does not accept transphobia. McGill's decision, very clearly a decision that they made and they consciously defended to host and platform transphobia and platform the same views that will make it so that trans people end up getting killed. This is absolutely unacceptable. Wow, Celeste Tryanon made some uh, interesting accusations there, some uh, very wild accusations. Now, I did take a little bit of a dive into uh, Dr. Wintermute's uh, past, and I haven't seen anything on uh, any platform that he's been on that I could find. 
uh, that would indicate that he was advocating for the death of trans people. Uh, but somehow, uh, Ms. Tryanon uh, made that connection. Uh, this was simply supposed to be a seminar on rights versus rights. Uh, it had nothing to do with anti-rights of either one. Uh, just a discussion of rights over rights. Unfortunately, uh, with the intimidation that uh, Dr. Wintemute uh, so clearly uh, showed us, discussions like this just won't happen. And it's unfortunate. And at this point, if stuff like this continues, I'm sorry to say, but uh, free speech is going to be dead in Canada very soon. Uh, we need people to be able to open up and discuss different ideas, have debate, a sensible debate, instead of jumping to the conclusion that you're trying to kill someone or some group of people. That's ridiculous. In the meantime, uh, Dr. Peterson, keep up the fight for uh, free speech rights. You're, you're on the right track. You're helping. You're doing more than a lot of people. Uh, Dr. Wintemute, well, what can I say? I, I hope this didn't uh, poison you against McGill University uh, in any way. Uh, I think it's a pretty good institution, actually, especially in the medical field, the psychology field, and the legal field. It turns out some really great uh, graduates. Anyway, uh, Stay safe, Canada, and remember, an informed Canadian is a prepared Canadian.